He is called the Great Gretzky, and he's only a child, but he's about to become... He is called the Great Gretzky, and he's only a child, but he's about to become the most productive scorer in the history of his game. He's a frail and modest kid, and what he's doing seems inconceivable, but don't be fooled by appearances. He's very shifty. The, he's very smart. A one-on-one -on -one situation in our end, that's where he's deadly. He can, and his passing, probably the best passer in the league. He, he'll make a pass, and it looks like he just unloaded the puck. You know, it's, it's fluttering through the air, and all of a sudden, one of their players is skating right into it, 90 miles an hour. Gretzky is hockey's grand illusion, though you couldn't prove it by his play against the Bruins. At times, the relentless shadowing of Steve Casper makes him almost ineffective. My style is night and day from, uh, you know, when I don't have a shadow. I think that, uh, you know, when I have a shadow, the less I have the puck, the better it is. And what we try to do is, let, you know, uh, try to be able to let me stay back and, and him stay with me and let the, the defenseman carry the puck and uh, let him go. But... Uh, Unfortunately, it didn't work. I guess he's a little frustrated. I mean, I, I know I would be frustrated if I was a, a big goal scorer and I had someone f following me around the whole ice. But like I said before, he, you know, he's a good competitor. He just kept coming at us. And uh, I give the guy credit because I know at any time he can break out and put one in the net. It is the magic of Gretzky to look futile most of an evening and still end up with two points. A lapse of mere seconds allowed him to break loose to forge both of Edmonton's goals and both on sheer guile. He's like a, um, I don't know what type of a bird it is that just circles, circles and strikes. I mean, he's deadly. You, gotta, you need 60 minutes of concentration to stop him. We messed up one play and he deflected to a guy going in on the wing. It will be a bad day for the rest of the league when Edmonton finally gets a team that can play with Gretzky. But that day is a ways off. In the meantime, he'll continue to pile up points while his team continues to pile up losses. Now moves in to Foster. Foster scores! What a beautiful setup! Here's Casper again with Gillis and Foster. Off for Gillis, looking for Foster. Got it in front. Casper, shot! Maybe Foster. Foster for sure, and it was his third of the night. Hockey is still a team game, and while the wizardry of the great Gretzky is real enough, it can be easily contained by a team that plays like a team. Clark Booth, Sports Center 5. Speaking